I'm Christy. Today I want to talk to you about gratitude. As I wrap up this series about focusing on the positive side of life, I've come to the one that I think trumps pretty much everything else. Gratitude. I love gratitude because of all the good things it does for us. You see, a few years ago, I decided, I decided to start writing a gratitude list, something I was grateful for every day. Now, it sounds simple enough, but I decided to take it a little bit further and decided to note one thing I was thankful for for each member of my family every day. And I actually wrote it down on a piece of paper. I still have those lists. And I did it for a few years. And then I started putting them, the list in my phone, intending to transfer them to paper. Well, that never happened. But I still have both sets of lists. You know what? My perspective started changing. Slowly at first, almost imperceptibly. But over time, I noticed that I was more positive, more content happier, and less grumpy. While I'm, I'm currently out of the habit of noting something for every, but everyone in my family every day, which I do want to get back to, the overall mindset of focusing on the positive has mostly stuck. Even cooler, I now look for things to be thankful for as a general part of my life. AJ learned to do more of his online work independently? Cool, mentally noted. My husband made an especially yummy dinner? Noted. Sean worked extra hard and did well on a test? Noted. Do you know what else I've discovered? I found the beauty and generosity of actually telling others what I noticed that I'm thankful for. Okay, in all honesty, I still need to work on this and become more consistent about noticing it. But I've gotten a lot better at telling my family when I'm thankful for something that they've done. Or I tell them when I'm proud of them for something that they've done. You see, I see this as a win-win. I win because I found something to be grateful for and I've consciously noticed it, at least mentally. My family member wins because they know that somebody else is watching what they do and acknowledging their efforts, especially when they're done well. Now this isn't to say that I never get on the boys or correct them. That's just part of being a mom. But I do try to also thank them for doing things that I've asked them to do. And especially for thanking them when they do something I didn't ask them to do. Those are especially precious. But here's where I think another area that I need more work. To look for character traits to be grateful for, and then telling them about what I see. You see, it's not just about what people do. I also want to develop character in my boys. You know, the traits that will help them stand out in the world. The traits that will help them more easily succeed in their future lives. Now, sometimes it's as simple as choosing to do something you don't want to do, but doing it with a good attitude because you know you need to do it. Or, Maybe it's doing something for another family member without being asked or told. Or maybe it's as simple as putting your laundry away simply because it was all washed and returned to you. Okay, I'm probably being a little bit delusional in this family, but a mama can dream, right? So why do I keep bringing up gratitude? And why do a whole post on it? Simply put, because I think it's that important. Gratitude really does help us live a more positive life. It's nearly impossible to be grateful for something and not be content. Conversely, it's also hard to focus on all the things that didn't get done today and still go to bed content. But maybe even more basic, gratitude allows us the opportunity to grow and develop into a better version of ourselves. Okay, maybe not all on its own, but gratitude is a great starting point. Gratitude helps us to not only focus on the positive, but on places of growth. Yes, we do need to look at our lives honestly and see the areas that are lacking or need growth. That's the only way we can see where we need to improve. But when we focus only on what's lacking, we tend to focus then on that actual lack. And then we see all the lack around us. It's really easy to start in a downward spiral. Instead, I choose to focus on what's going right in my life, to be grateful for the positives. Then I can acknowledge the areas that need improving while still moving in an upward spiral. This allows me to continue to move forward to grow and develop into that better version of myself that I mentioned before. So how do you start on this kind of path? Here's a few ideas to get your juices flowing. First, beginning noticing just one, just one thing that you're thankful for every day and then write it down. Now, it doesn't matter where, a notebook, your phone, whatever. Just keep them all together so that you can see all the different things that you have to be thankful for. Now, for bonus points at this point, Start a list for each member of your family. Now, once noticing becomes fairly easy, continue to challenge yourself by telling that person what you're thankful for. Maybe not every time, 
but regular. Now, at this point, I would say, if you haven't already, start a gratitude list for each member of your family. This means you're finding more than one thing to be thankful for every day. Finally, look for really good days when you can find more than one thing to be thankful for, especially if you're looking for things for each member of your family. Maybe challenge yourself on a good day to find two things for at least some of the members of your family. Before you know it, you'll find yourself in an upward spiral, looking for more and more things to be grateful for. And then you'll likely realize you're more content with yourself. Suddenly, you realize that you have a lot of things to be thankful for. And the spiral continues upward. I trust that you'll find this mindset shift as helpful as I have. It's taken some time, but today I am so grateful that I was willing to put in the time and the effort to develop the skill of look, look, looking for things to be grateful for. Will you join me on this journey of gratitude? Which of course leads me to my question for today. What are you grateful for today? Just one thing. It doesn't matter how big or small. I'd love to hear about it. You can leave me a comment below or over on the blog. That's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in August of 2020. As always, I'd appreciate it if you'd share this with anybody you think would find it helpful. I'd love to help as many families as I can. I have a couple cheat sheets over on the website. These cheat sheets will give you an overview of two of the series that I've done. I think you'll find them really helpful. All it'll cost you is your email address. Signing up will also notify you of all newly released content as soon as it's available. I'm grateful for the benefits of gratitude so that I can continue to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.